Yalerigu Namaskara, uh, which means hello everyone. Today, Natasha and I are doing another kind of uh, India-based challenge yeah. where she's going to be showing me some photos that I have not seen yet and I pretty much have to kind of guess what the purpose is of the thing that's shown in the photo. Yes. And we thought it'd be kind of funny to yes. see what a foreigner or somebody that does not know anything about yeah. whatever it is that's going to be in the photo might be yes. and stuff so so it's a bunch of indian stuff that mm -hmm. it'll be interesting to see jericho's point of view on mm. what he thinks their uses are yeah so yeah let's get started let's get started Stupid and there's fly. millions of bugs first photo okay oh my goodness okay so what i'm looking at here is it looks like some sort of like graffiti art on stones okay so what it looks like to me is something that you would buy to put on like your living room display Displays. you know to okay. show people that this is exactly what you know it's like I come into my home look at this nice right. artifact thingy right. that that's what it looks like to okay. me I feel like that's not what it actually is supposed to be yeah but yeah that, I guess that's my guess okay yeah so these are henna stamps oh yeah. okay okay interesting <laughs> so, okay basically okay. so these are easier versions of basically doing henna okay you just basically stamp it on your hand technically usually for a bride they have the whole uh henna party right yeah, so right. that's traditionally like drawn on right but if uh, indians really like henna mm. so they just wear it on even without occasion right so the stamps make it a lot easier to just like have mm. henna on What do you think that is? Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't specifically remember the name. Um, it looks kind of like a Momo, a bit, but it's not, I know that. Um, I don't remember the name, but I'm guessing that it has some sort of meat inside of it, mm -hmm. maybe? So like maybe like a hamburger, or like, you know, like a... Um, like a minced meat? Yeah, minced meat okay. kind of thing. And then I'm guessing you have like your, your sauce or chutney on the side kind of thing, so. So, very cool. I mean, it, it, that's exactly yeah. what it is. Okay. It's, a, it's called a samosa. A samosa, yeah. yes. It's like mimosa, but yeah, samosa. samosa. Yes. And it's not necessarily only meat in it. Okay. You get veg samosas and mm. alu samosas. Alu is potato. Okay, and interesting. And you get meat samosas, onions. Oh my gosh, you actually have a variety of samosas. Yeah, yeah. 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 Indians love their samosas. Samosa. Yeah. Okay, well, it looks like uh, some sort of knitting thing. Okay. Like, uh, you know, you put it through the machine and you, you know, I don't know. Is that a knitting? No, it's knitting's like the, this. Yeah. So what would, the, that's, that's the, the needle stitching. thing. Stitching. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. So the, it's like a form of he's stitching, right? learning different languages. He's forgetting his own. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> well, you can, oh, you can no. tell that I don't do a lot of stitching. Yeah. And so it's like, I don't really know that yeah. aspect but that okay that's what it looks like to yeah. me is some sort of stitching machine yes okay so this is a very traditional indian stitching machine okay, okay. good yeah. job yeah. good job thank you okay so it looks like a musical instrument of some sort yes I, okay I, i'm just throwing something out but qatar like qatar very close qatar very kind of close way? okay it, it, very close. Not just there, but very mm, close. Very close. So it's, it's obviously a form of a guitar in a way, like a type of Indian guitar. Yes. Uh, Suji Andy plays this instrument. Dad has it. Mm. They have it displayed in their house. Yes, they do. That's right. Yeah. They do. Yes. It's called a sitar. Sitar. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was pretty close on that yes. one. I, I feel not too bad about trying to remember what that one was. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But a very beautiful instrument. Eh? Very beautiful. It's yeah. like it's like the Indian version of um uh what do they call those? The the cello. The cello, yes. That's yes. the big kind of And do you play it kinda like this yeah. a little bit? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this is this is funny. Okay. So <laughs> it okay, this it looks like a man skirt to me okay yeah. i'm sorry but that's or a man dress yeah. in some way shape or form i know that they are very popular here and i have seen them quite a bit yeah uh if you ask me what it's called i do, do not, not remember know. i'm so sorry yes. um but 
um, yeah, that's 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 yeah. kind of like what it looks like yeah. to me. So yeah. it's like India is not the only place that has this. If mm. you look at if you look at traditional Scotland, right? The traditional like oh, is it garment, like a, a kilt? A kilt. Yeah. So the Scottish people have a kilt, which yes, is a skirt right. for a man. Yes, of course. So in India, this is, it's called a lungi. A lungi. Yeah. Mm. There's actually an Indian song called Lungi Dance. It's quite funny. Oh, okay. But, okay. But, a lungi. Yes. Nice. Man's skirt for men. Yeah. A lungi. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait a second. I think I know what that is. I've had that before. It's some sort of food thing, right? Yes. Okay, so it makes those little like, uh, I want to say kind of like a rice cake. Yeah. A little bit. I don't remember the name of it though. It's like some sort of idli. Yes. Yes. Very good. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. So, so that's how you make idli. Yeah. Okay. So this is your um, mold, right? Okay. So your idli mold. Okay. So you put the rice, and that's exactly what it is. It's like rice cakes. Interesting. And you put it in your, uh, you pour the batter into these molds, mm. and then you steam them. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Idli. Okay. Yeah. The idli Interesting. Mold. It's like in a rice cake, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what it looks like, I feel like it's not though. <laughs> um, it looks like, you know, rolling dough okay. thing, okay? But yeah. I feel like that's not what it is okay. for. Okay, why do you feel like it's not what it is for? I don't know, like it, it looks like you'd roll something, but I feel like the surface thing that it's on doesn't feel like something that you would put cooking things on. I don't know, like... Why do you feel these ways? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, it's getting in my head that this is going to be something yeah, that yeah. I'll never know yeah. what it is, you know? Uh, um, okay, I'm, I'm going to go with the cooking thing. I think it has to be some sort of like, it wouldn't be dosa batter, but it would be like some sort of batter or some sort of like bread thing that you roll out kind of thing, right? And then it helps you, you know, put stuff inside or something like that. That's my guess at right. what that might be. Right. So do you know do you know what chapatis are? Yes. Yes. So okay, so I'm right yes. in a way. So okay. this is basically what we roll the chapati dough on mm. to get them flattened out. Okay. And then you toss them on the stove. Okay, yes. so the, the reason why I was thinking something different is it looks like it almost could be some sort of musical instrument as well, yeah. where it's like ding ding, yeah. or you know what I mean. <laughs> Just, <laughs> we should try. That. Yeah. See what it actually sounds Maybe like. Maybe turn it into a musical instrument. Yeah, you could. Oh, probably. that's funny. Oh, I know what these are. Okay, these are bracelets. These okay. are a, a type of bracelet that you can um, like combine a whole bunch and make it into like a big long bracelet, mm -hmm. right? Uh, I don't remember what the name of it is, but like, yeah, it's it's like you can, it's like really small and then you just kind of like pe keep putting them on or yeah. whatever and it creates like a nice big one kind of thing. Am right. I correct? Correct. Yes. So they're called bangles. Bangles. Yes. 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 The okay. traditional Indian bangles. Mm, okay. And they're sold everywhere. Everywhere. Here. And like we everywhere. love it. We yeah. love them. We love That's them. True. Yeah. Anyway, that was uh, that was interesting. That was fun. It, it's it's nice um, knowing like seeing everything and then trying to you know put it into like picture yeah. form and like actually trying to see how well I actually am yeah. paying attention. I suppose to yeah. Indian culture yeah. and stuff like that, right? Yeah. So, but it's just amazing how um, how vast the Indian culture yeah. is. There's so much here, yeah. you know what I mean? And, and so many different things that is so different from the Western mm -hmm. world, you know, mm -hmm. and different ways that you guys do things here and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you guys had fun and I hope you guys played along as well and tried to guess along with me what some of these things were. You did and, pretty good. Uh, yeah, I did pretty good. Yes, you did. Well, well thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I do pay attention. Yes. I do. I try. Yes, you do. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and uh, we'll check you later. It'll be interesting to see his view, uh, point of view. So let's, let's, let's. <laughs> I was like, this is running away from me. <laughs> let's, uh, point of view. Let's, so let's. Uh... <laughs> 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 you want to slide over? <laughs>